Hi, I'm Vlado Damianovsky, CCTV engineer, and I will try in this series of video clips to explain and demystify certain technology in closed-circuit television. I will talk about cameras, imaging devices, lenses, video compressions, and many more topics that a lot of people are asking about. So I hope that uh, using this you will learn more about it and you'll make most of your CCTV installation. The most common device, imaging device in CCTV is a CCD camera. CCD stands for charge couple device. Uh, these cameras are basically converting light into electrons. The principle is very simple. It's the principle of photo effect, which was discovered many years and explained many years ago by Albert Einstein. Uh, basically, the lens projects the image onto the CCD chip and the amount of light produces more electrons. Where there is less light, there is less electrons. So light falls onto the imaging device, CCD chip in this case, and it produces electrons proportional to the amount of light at the point where the actual light falls. So that means in one image you have brighter areas and darker areas. They are the pixels that have more electrons and less electrons. These electrons, once they are being formed from the light falling onto the imaging chip, have to be transferred out of the imaging device into the rest of the electronics. And this is done with the so-called charge transfer. Therefore, the name for CCD chip is charge couple device. An important part to have in mind when this is shown and seen is that whatever number of pixels exist on the CCD chip, all of them have to be shifted down and then out. So it's a continuous operation that lasts 20, that does 50 images a second, shifts down and takes it out to produce the 50 television fields for PAL or 60 in the case of NTSC. So the CCD chips are producing 50 images a second for PAL and 60 for NTSC. That means that every second we've got 50 separate exposures on the CCD chip for PAL and 60 exposures on the NTSC chips. So this was one of the examples about the advantages of cam in pics and of course there are many more to be explained which we will do in some of the next presentations. And I thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next episode of CCTV Academy.